everyone, unfortunately today we have some sad news coming from Nintendo. I woke up this morning to messages from you all and I was so confused, so of course I went onto Twitter to see what's going on and saw the news. So in case you didn't know, the official Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Twitter account has said, we have an important announcement for everyone playing the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp app. Thank you for playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Service for the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp smartphone app will end on November 28th, 2024 at 3pm. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to everyone who has supported the title since service began. We will continue to hold events and add items until the service's end date. You should also know that we are developing a version of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp that users can continue to play with their existing save data. We plan to share details around October 2024, so we ask for your patience until then. This is big news to hear. So first of all, the app's closure. This is so sad to hear as I know for sure that there are still so many Animal Crossing Pocket Camp players. Maybe not as many as there were before, but just a few weeks ago I was still receiving so many messages from you all telling me about new fairy furniture in the game and things I should go into the game to check out. I'm not sure why specifically Nintendo are choosing to close down Pocket Camp. I would imagine it's to do with losing more and more player base as time has gone on, or a lack of income coming in to continue keeping the game server running. But that is hard to imagine considering how much of a money maker Animal Crossing Pocket Camp has been for Nintendo. But it could also just be a fact of the game being quite old now. If you didn't know, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp released on the 25th of October 2017, so it will have been over seven years since its release once it finally closes down. That's a pretty long time for a mobile app, and although in my opinion Pocket Camp has done an amazing job of keeping up with trends and constantly improving upon and updating the game to keep players coming back and enjoying it, some may think that it has aged and may not fit in so much of current Animal Crossing games. For example, this is just a little thing, but the villagers in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp still talk in the animally sound they used in previous Animal Crossing titles like Animal Crossing New Leaf, so I can imagine it's a little bit of a surprise to new players entering the game, having come in from New Horizons. The character designs and graphics are more like Animal Crossing New Leaf than New Horizons as well. This isn't a complaint from me though, by the way, as I have always preferred the more pastel and muted colours of Animal Crossing New Leaf to the vivid ones in New Horizons. And clunky and retro Animal Crossing graphics literally own my heart, I love them. I have actually enjoyed going back to Pocket Camp for the sole reason of that it reminds me of the older Animal Crossing titles. But still, this game has been out for many years now, and Nintendo like to always be creating new exciting things, so it makes sense that the game would have to close at some point soon. It isn't too surprising to me either, as the online server for Animal Crossing New Leaf closed this year too, which was so depressing by the way and kind of broke my heart, but it's even less surprising when you remember that Pocket Camp is a mobile game. And unfortunately, mobile games can never stay around forever, so there was always going to come a point where we were going to have to say goodbye. The more positive news is the second part of this tweet. You should also know that we are developing a version of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp that users can continue to play with their existing save data. We plan to share details around October 2024, so we ask for your patience until then. So we won't know what this fully entails until October, but what we can assume is that another version of the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp app will be releasing after the original app's closure that possibly features no online play. This of course would be removing a huge chunk of the game's charm, the community aspect and updates featuring new items, but on a more positive note it does mean we will be able to keep our safe data with all our bought clothing, furniture, camp designs and our built up character level and important things like that. So not all the money we spent on leaf tickets will be a waste. <laughs> This is actually an incredibly rare thing for companies to do for app closures, so this is really kind of Nintendo, and maybe the best possible outcome for the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp community when it comes to the game's eventual closure. So I've also received an email from Nintendo about the closure of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, with some more information I can share with you all. So the sale of in-game leaf tickets will cease shortly before the end of the service on November 27th. So they suggest that you use any remaining leaf tickets before the end of the service. Subscriptions to the Pocket Camp Club will no longer be possible as of October 28th, 2024 at 1am UK time. After this date, users will be unable to create new subscriptions and existing subscriptions will not be renewed. Users with paid subscriptions to any of the plans, the Merry Memories plan, Happy Helper plan or Furniture and Fashion plan that extend beyond October 28th will continue to receive the benefits of the relevant plan until the service ends on November 28th, excluding the Pocket Camp Club journal and benefits distributed monthly, including leaf tickets and fortune cookies. 
Users with a free trial of the Happy Helper plan will not qualify for this extension of the benefits. And regarding the future of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, we are currently developing a paid version of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp for smart devices to release in the future. This version of the game will not require a constant connection to the internet, will not contain any in-app purchases, and will allow existing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp users to transfer their saved data over by linking their Nintendo account. Please note, due to the paid version not supporting in-app purchases, this transfer will not include any unused leaf tickets. So, bad news, if we want to continue playing Pocket Camp, we have to pay. We will not be keeping our leaf tickets. There will no longer be any in-app purchases, which is a good or bad thing depending on how you view it. But this is going to be incredibly confusing for young players of Pocket Camp who originally played it just because it was free to play. If they want to continue playing now, they're going to have to pay for the new app, which they most likely won't be able to do because they're probably very young. For me, I'm okay with it because I'm imagining it's not going to be too expensive and if it is expensive I hope it will be because it's like a whole new kind of renovated game that's new and exciting but yeah unfortunately it will no longer be free if you want to play it and it's not going to have leaf tickets or in-app purchases or anything like that anymore so I would suggest you go and try spend all of your remaining leaf tickets and try and make use of them as much as you can before time runs out so this is probably a very stupid thing to think but I like to dream okay so don't get mad at me but it did get me imagine if they will make or release a version of Pocket Camp that's more akin to games like Cozy Grove, where you can hop in, do daily quests, unlock some stuff, but majority of it is offline based, with no huge updates of new things every month, and basically everything in the game is already in it from the get-go. And I was imagining if it's something they would be planning to or want to bring to the Switch. Now, I know those of you who solely play Pocket Camp on mobile and don't have a Switch wouldn't be too happy about this, but I was thinking about it being something that's available on both mobile and the Switch. You see this pretty commonly with mobile games they'll get added to the Switch. It would just be like Cozy Grove or Stardew Valley and other similar games that are easy to play offline. This would actually be really cute and fun for me as to be honest with you all I don't actually pick up Pocket Camp to play as often as I used to as I just don't play games on my phone as much. For my work I usually spend a lot of time on my phone so when it comes to relaxing or playing games I like to just put it down for a while. Another thing was that every time I clicked on the game to play there would always be an update that I need to download and wait on the loading screen for and TikTok has completely ruined my attention span so I would just get too bored waiting and click off the game before I even had a chance to play. I know that's so stupid but that would genuinely stop me from playing so many times. Anyways, my point was, I actually feel like if another version of Pocket Camp was released on the Switch, I would definitely be logging in every single day just for some quick gameplay before bed. As I've always loved the simplicity of Pocket Camp, I've always loved how it's just a mini version of Animal Crossing that I can keep in my pocket. So even if there is a stupid imagination to have, I hope that no matter what happens, Nintendo will think about releasing another Animal Crossing app or game like it in the future as so many people have enjoyed it and would love to see more Animal Crossing games like it. And for me, to be honest, I just want more Animal Crossing. I'm happy with anything Animal Crossing as long as it gives me something new to enjoy. Pocket Camp has brought me so much happiness over the years and is one of the main reasons I was able to build such a lovely community here on the channel through all of you. The majority of you I hear from tell me you found me through my Pocket Camp gameplay videos. At this point it's been over a year since my last Pocket Camp video on the channel but still today my most watched video on the channel every single week is an Animal Crossing Pocket Camp video that was actually one of the first videos I ever uploaded. I was still a teenager in that video so if you go back and watch it I sound so young and so nervous because it was one of the first videos I ever filmed and it's incredibly embarrassing to still have it up on the channel but it is my most popular video to this day and it's the video that brought most of you here to the channel in the first place. But this video completely blew up and brought me the success I have today on YouTube which allowed me to make this into my real job, be reached out to by other game companies, be lucky enough to get sync games to play with you all and eventually even get partnered with Nintendo themselves and get the amazing opportunity to attend a ton of amazing events for their games. Not only did Animal Crossing Pocket Camp bring me so many years of joy for its calming gameplay, constant updates, opportunities for creativity, meeting friends and building community and most of all giving me a chance to enjoy something Animal Crossing related in between the releases of New Leaf and New Horizons but I genuinely believe this game changed the direction of my entire life so I just wanted to say thank you to all of you, to Nintendo, and to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I'm so grateful for everything you brought me, and I will definitely miss it all.
That being said, I will probably record one last Pocket Camp gameplay video closer to the game's closure, so we can all say a proper goodbye together. Let me know in the comments what you all think about this. Obviously, this is really sad news, but do you have high hopes for the new offline version of Pocket Camp? Do you have any ideas for future Animal Crossing games Nintendo could release that are similar to it? Let me know in the comments. And I know it does kind of feel like Nintendo are just dropping everything Animal Crossing related, with no updates for Animal Crossing New Horizons in years now, completely removing the online server for Animal Crossing New Leaf, and now closing down Pocket Camp all in the same year. It's not looking good for us Animal Crossing fans and, and it can kind of feel like Nintendo are just kind of trying to get rid of us in some way, but I'm trying to have a more positive outlook on all of this and see it as it's possibly them going to be releasing something new Animal Crossing related. You've still been getting Animal Crossing merch regularly like the Animal Crossing Lego sets and you have to remember that Pocket Camp was incredibly successful and brought Nintendo a bunch of money and so was Animal Crossing New Horizons, so I really doubt that Nintendo are purposely purposefully trying to make us Animal Crossing fans feel left out or hopeless right now. From my point of view, I'm seeing it as they're kind of getting rid of these old things to bring in some new things. That's what I'm trying to hope for anyway. Like possibly them closing down the New Leaf online server is because maybe they're going to bring a remake for New Leaf onto the Switch or a remaster. Them closing down Pocket Camp but then telling us they're releasing a new version that we can transfer our save data to is actually kind of a good thing. I mean, it sucks that it sounds like we're not going to have access to a lot of the stuff that was available in the game, we won't be able to interact with friends, but again, we haven't really heard too much details on what this new version of the game will be, so I don't want to get my hopes up too high because I am prone to doing that, but I also don't want to be too negative about it. I think that this isn't the end for the Animal Crossing community. I think they're going to be releasing new Animal Crossing things as time goes on. Another thing to note is that, like, many Nintendo events recently, the Animal Crossing characters have been coming out to meet people like Tom Nook and Isabel, and I just feel like it would be a bit odd for them to like get out those dusty old Animal Crossing costumes. I mean, get out those dusty old Animal Crossing people and bring them out when there's gonna be nothing Animal Crossing related soon. I don't know, that's just my opinion though. Maybe I'm thinking too positively, but I'd rather be too positive than too negative in this case. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Try not to be too negative guys, maybe this is a good thing, and Maybe it means new Animal Crossing stuff is coming in the future. So that's my outlook on it, but let me know what you think in the comments. I'm happy to hear all of your guys' thoughts and opinions, and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp one last time before it closes. We've got like two and a half months now, I think, until we have to say goodbye, so I've still got a bit of time to try and do some stuff. So just let me know. But before I go for today, I would just like to say an extra special thank you to my wonderful Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. I am so grateful for your continued support, so thank you so, so much. And if you all enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a super lovely day, and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>